Once upon a time in a small suburban town, there was a close-knit community of families who lived in harmony with one another. Every house had a beautiful garden, and every family had at least one child. The town was known for its wholesomeness and strong family values, which were evident in the way the families interacted with each other. However, there was a secret that was shared among all the women in this town, a secret that brought them together, yet kept them apart from their loved ones. This secret was the act of self-pleasure. Every woman in this town, regardless of age or marital status, would find herself alone in her bathroom or bedroom, locked away from the world, as she explored the depths of her own pleasure. There was a rumor that started many years ago about a young woman named Lily, who was the first to discover the power of self-pleasure. She was a shy, innocent girl who was eager to learn about her body and its desires. One day, while taking a bath, she stumbled upon the sensation that would change her life forever. Word spread quickly, and soon enough, every woman in the town was experimenting with self-pleasure. They would spend hours locked away in their private spaces, exploring their bodies and discovering new ways to satisfy their desires. The women began to form a secret club, where they would meet once a month to share their experiences and discuss new techniques. They would gather in the town's community center under the guise of a book club or a sewing circle, and there they would share their deepest secrets and desires. One day, a new family moved into the town. The mother, Sarah, was a young and vibrant woman who had yet to discover the secret of self-pleasure. She was eager to fit in and make friends with the other women in the town, but she couldn't help but feel left out as they shared their experiences. One evening, as Sarah was preparing for bed, she noticed her husband had forgotten his favorite book in the living room. As she went to retrieve it, she saw a small glow coming from under the bathroom door. Curiosity piqued, she slowly turned the doorknob and stepped inside. There, she found her teenage daughter, Emma, locked in a position that was both shocking and intriguing. Her face was flushed, and her hands were moving rapidly over her body. Sarah's heart raced as she watched her daughter, completely captivated by the sight. Emma noticed her mother's presence, and rather than feeling embarrassed, she felt a sense of pride. She smiled at her mother and said, Mom, I found this secret that all the other girls at school know about. It's called self-pleasure and it makes you feel really good. Sarah felt a mixture of emotions, shock, curiosity, and excitement. She couldn't believe that her innocent daughter had discovered this secret, but at the same time she was grateful that Emma had shared it with her. Together, Sarah and Emma explored the world of self-pleasure. They spent hours locked away in their bathroom, teaching each other and learning from each other. They discovered new techniques and shared their experiences with the other women in the town. The secret that had once brought shame and guilt to the women now brought them a sense of empowerment and unity. They no longer felt like they had to hide their desires or their pleasure. Instead, they embraced it and celebrated it sharing their experiences with each other and growing closer as a community. As the years went by, the women of the town continued to meet and share their experiences. They became more open and confident, not only in their sexuality, but also in their everyday lives. They found strength in their shared secret, and they passed it down to their daughters, ensuring that the tradition would continue for generations to come. The town became known for its strong, empowered women, who were unapologetic about their desires and their needs. They raised their daughters to be independent and confident, teaching them the importance of self-love and self-pleasure. And so, the secret that once brought shame and guilt to the women of the town became a symbol of empowerment and unity, strengthening the bond between them and paving the way for a new generation of empowered, confident women. Please subscribe to my channel Lessons of Life and press the bell notification icon.